I'm only getting started. Two, three thousand calories, and you think they're on a starvation diet. They're not. They're actually on a good diet, right? So, but a lot of us get into this health food thing, and we want to lose weight, and we want to be healthy, and we go down to like seventeen hundred calories. 16, 1200 calories. You now, I got an email from this woman the other day. She's 160 pounds. She used to be 100 pounds. She's running 10 miles a day. And I'm like, well, how many calories are you eating? Like, how many calories are you eating with this, you know, 10 miles a day, you know, 160 pounds? I feel crappy. I'm, I'm, I'm depressed. I don't want to lose I'm running 160 pounds. So she's 160 pounds running 10 miles a day. Right? You think she should lose weight? She's not. How many calories are you eating? Oh, I'm eating maybe 1,700 calories a day. So it's not intuitive. Why isn't she losing weight? Right? I said, up your calories. See what happens. Not up your calories with crap. Up your calories with fruits and vegetables. The weight's going to drop. You know, it will because her body will let go and she'll start cleansing. All that extra that her body's too scared of. She's starving. The body is starving because she's not eating enough. She's burning more than she's taking in, and she's eating crap. Okay? She's not raw vegan. She's not vegan. She's not eating properly or well. So she's eating a bunch of, of nonsense. The body is starving because it's not getting any greens. It's not getting any fresh fruits. It's not getting any vegetables. And she's restricting her diet, and she's working out like crazy. So the body's holding on to everything and not letting it go. As soon as you give it all the nutrients it needs, it's going to let everything go and it's going to then normalize and balance. Everything's going to work out. So, and there's a lot of people that have sort of helped me with that one. Deb Graham is one of them that's helped me realize all that. You've got to get enough calories a day. You're not going to be healthy if you don't get enough. And for most people, it's two to 3,000 depending on your activity level. And for me, I was doing... Um, I was doing about 2,700 calories a day, and I wasn't, I wasn't thriving. I was doing really good, but I wasn't really thriving at 2,700. And some of my friends on the internet, uh, the, some of the 80, 10, 10 friends of mine on the internet were like sending me messages, Jeff, you need to up your calories. Try to go to 3,500 and see what happens. And I, I bumped it up. It's hard for me to get 3,500 calories in, but I did it. And, uh, and now I just, I eat a lot. And now my health is just flying at 3,500 calories a day. And because I'm, I've got all the nutrients I need, my body's burning it off, it's eliminating what I don't need, and my body fat's gone way down. Like I've actually lost weight by upping my calories. And I know that's counterintuitive. And anybody, you know, and, and, and it's hard to explain, and if anybody talks to a, guy, a healthcare professional about it, they're gonna say, well, that's ridiculous. Jeff doesn't know what the, he's talking about, right? That's what they're gonna say. But, it, but it's true. How can I lose weight but up my calories? How can this person who's running 10 miles a day on 1,700 calories not lose weight and be upset that they're not losing weight? Okay? And those of you that know me probably can tell that I lost weight. I lost weight because I went to, to Africa and I doubled my mileage on my running. I did 388 kilometers in 24 days. And yeah, we were averaging like 16 kilometers a day, we're doing two a days. And we're doing it at 7,000 feet altitude. And I was eating in that 4,000 calories a day. I was just, I was just nonstop eating. I was having like as many mangoes as I could find. And I was having like 15 bananas a day and a couple um, avocados a day. And I was, I was just, I, I was just eating more than I've ever eaten in my life. And I lost 10 pounds in that one month. Okay, because my, 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 my exercise went up, my calories went up, but I just, the body just got so efficient. I mean, literally, this is kind of crazy, but literally, I mean, my, 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 I was eliminating more than I've ever eliminated. And my body was just so efficient that I lost weight. And now I'm putting the weight back on. I got back, I got back, you know, I didn't get back two weeks ago. I got back on Friday, but... I left for Africa two weeks ago, and I've put on three pounds since. And you know, just because I've adjusted things and bring my weight back up. So it, it, this is a big one, and when you start really getting into it, you'll see that. Okay, the next one is green. You've got to alkalize. You've got to have green fruits and vegetables in your life. Um, 
Um, I personally take uh, E3 Live every day. I think it's a wonderful product. Um, because I travel non-stop, I take the powdered film, the form, so I can carry it with me. I also try to eat salad every single day, green juices or green smoothies every single day. Um, you got to have alkalized your food. you got to have an alkaline body, pH positive uh, body, uh, not an acid body. An acid body is going to be a terrain for sick, and an alkaline body, you can't get sick. And that's how I haven't gotten sick in 12 plus years. Um, I, and I definitely detox, and I definitely have positive days and negative days, and I have low days and high days, but I haven't gotten sick. And that's just from being an alkaline. And, and there's people who've written PhDs on this, and tons of books about it. And there's tons of pH stuff you can look up on the internet. But alkalinity is the key to uh, to health and success for sure. Um, okay, the other one is raw vegan. Um, now, I'm not saying you have to be 100% vegan. I'm not saying you have to be 100% raw. 100% raw vegan, in my opinion, is the best. Uh, but you know, as close as you can get there as possible. And for some people that's 80%, some people that's 70%. But the way I stand and what I teach on my website and what I promote with anybody I talk to anybody is it's not about 100% and it's not about perfection. It's wherever you are, whoever you are. When I'm sitting down with the world champion, I'll say, you know what? I don't care you're a world champion, eat more fruits and vegetables. And I'm inspiring them. You know, I got Mo Farah to start eating bananas. I'm like, Mo, like I watched Mo Farah work out on the track. I mean, this was an incredible, like, it was one of the most inspiring workouts I've ever seen in my life. And, and like, literally went to this track in Africa to watch him work out, and there was like a hundred people there that came to watch him work out. And all the other world best just sat and watched him work out, because he was just like, like, the guy, he, what his workout was, he did 20 by 800s, 20 repeats of 800 meter sprints. And what was sick, is he got faster and faster and faster, and the last four were the fastest that he did. He was doing his last 800s at like, like 58 second miles, which is like, like that's under a four minute mile, a 58 second mile. Like, and it, he just kept on getting, and his feet were just like, you know the road runner? Like when his, I mean his feet were just like, like just moving, and like, I mean it was just so inspiring to see this guy work, and then I saw him work out, and then, and then I, he didn't eat anything right afterwards. And he found out. And I watched him. And then it was like an hour and a half before later he went to lunch. And I was like, what? You're like, you're, you're, this, is your, this is world record holder, world champion, working out like that, and not eating. And I, was, I sat him down and said, Mo, you got to have bananas after. you got to put bananas in your bag. And like the second you're done your workout, you got to put two of those bananas down your throat. And you got to start eating them. And then a couple days later, we're at the track, and he's working out, and he finishes his workout, and he pops out his banana, and he says, hey, Jeff, look, see him doing the bananas. And then he starts talking to all the other world champions about the bananas and the benefit of having fruits right after the meal and all this kind of stuff. And it's, it's I don't know, it's really kind of really kind of inspiring, and I don't remember why I started talking about this. Right, raw vegan. So the point is, fresh fruits, fresh vegetables, the more of it, the possible. I didn't tell Mo Farah that he had to stop eating meat. And I didn't tell him that he had to change his whole life and he had to be 100% raw vegan. I said, no, it's just about more. Whoever you are, wherever you are, it's more fruits and vegetables. That's why my website is, is vegetarian. I'll let you know on a little secret. There's not one piece of vegetarian content on the website. But it's a vegetarian website. Because it's about inclusiveness. It's about fresh fruits and vegetables. It's about you know, making the world a better place. It's not about you need to be 100% raw or you're a bad person, or you need to be 100% vegan or you're just like, you know, you don't know what you're talking about and you're, you're killing the animals, you know? There's this theory of offsets. Does anybody know like in, in, in like in, um, environment, I'm an environmental entrepreneur, but does anybody know like offset, right? Carbon, carbon offset. Carbon offset, for instance, or any sort of footprint offset kind of thing, right? So the theory is, you can have some sort of damage over here, but you can offset it with something over here, right? And so you weigh these kind of benefits. So that like, like, um, like an airline, you get up in the air and you have a carbon footprint, but you can offset that by doing some good to offset a particular benefit. Well, it's the same thing with, with health. It's not, it's not just black and white. Like it's like, like you don't have to be 100% to get benefit. You, you just need to do more of whatever it is you're doing. 
And it's a lot less intimidating to somebody to say eat more fruits and vegetables than it is you have to be 100% raw food, vegan, low-fat, SOS, free, no bottle, can, package, <laughs> cook, bake, oil, whatever, right? Like that's just way too intimidating for somebody. And when I first went to the first raw food restaurant here in San Francisco 13 years ago in Haight-Ashbury, you know, everybody was wearing dresses and the guys all had long hair and, and like you had to sit on the floor and there was tapestry all over the walls and like the guys all had like big long hair and, and it just was like, I was already vegan, I was already into my daily yoga practice, I was already like, you know, I thought I was already, you know, pretty open and I was freaked out, <laughs> you know, like aliens from outer space have landed there's no possibility that I can tell my parents where I've just been. I can't tell my parents that I'm about to go do that. Like, it was just, you know. And that's why today, places like Cafe Gratitude and Pure Food and Wine and a whole host of other... I'm only getting started.